Muslim Brotherhood, do you condemn, as a representative of CARE, do you condemn the Muslim Brotherhood? I condemn any organization that is involved in any acts of terrorism, that involves any acts of terrorism that are directed at innocent people. I, of course, this is almost ridiculous. This has absolutely nothing to do with the state amendment. And yet, this is the problem with the, the fear tactics uh, associated with Sharia law. You have me on to discuss a state amendment, and now you're asking me about a, a, a designated terrorist organization that exists overseas. How hey, well, I'm asking you because CARE has been tied to this designated organization. CARE has been did listed. Did you invite me to talk about foreign terrorism? Well, or did you invite I, I, me to talk isn't about the, don't I have freedom of press to ask you whatever I want, including do you condemn Hamas? Uh, absolutely. We condemn any terrorist organization. That's obvious. CARE is well documented. has many instances where they've uh, uh, of criticized and condemned terrorist organizations. This is, uh, yeah. this is available on our website, uh, and this is ri almost ridiculous. I feel offended that you have to ask that question. Do you condemn the KKK? Uh, again, actually, care members have been on record, including you your director. As I, of course, I condemn the KKK, Thank but I'm not part of an organization that. that was founded by the KKK. You, on the other hand, are part of CARE, which there was a new book put out, Muslim Mafia, which brings documentation, and that the FBI earlier even testified to this, that your organization, CARE, was funded by Muslim Brotherhood offshoots, was listed by the Muslim Brotherhood in documents as a like-minded partner. So, that book um, does not have any academic sort of basis to it. That's ridiculous. This is the FBI, actually. It was the FBI agent Laura Burns who retestified that your organization was listed as a member of the Muslim Brotherhood's Palestine Committee, that your well, organization you received it's funds. Here, the chapter of Oklahoma has existed for slightly about three years. We are funded totally by funds that are raised in Oklahoma. As any 501c3, everything we do is transparent. We work under the government. If I was guilty of a crime or guilty of being affiliated with a terrorist organization, don't you think our government would arrest us? Well, actually, you are. Going? CARE is an unindicted co-conspirator. Are they not yes, in the Holy Land Foundation, $12 million, to raise money for Hamas? Well, then why are we still operating under this government? Why is it that CARE's head, Nihad Awad, asserted in 1994 at Barry University, quote, I am a supporter of the Hamas movement? If you have anything more to say about the state question and the issues that the chapter of Oklahoma cared about, sure, sure. Well, we can continue. Absolutely. Otherwise, I'm not going to be part of a dialogue where you continually try to associate my organization, which operates lawfully and openly and transparently in the state of Oklahoma, to this just nonsense. Well, if it operates openly and transparently, why were you shedding documents and uh, actually the documents were smuggled out by those two who wrote Muslim Mafia? That's just absolutely not true. There's so, no basis behind that other than a book that you cite here. Is speaking of um, CARE and, let's say, this Oklahoma situation, you have a CARE director. His name is Omar Ahmed, who proclaimed at a speech in Fremont, California, quote, Islam isn't in America to be equal to any other faith, but not to become dominant. The Koran should be the highest authority in America, and Islam the only accepted religion on earth. Um, what about uh, that kind of rhetoric? Quoting, you're quoting, uh, uh, you have quotations that are taken in a context that I have no idea about. Again, here Oklahoma, we've been here for about three years. I'm the new ED here. I, I don't know much about what you're talking about, but I know that it's out of context and that apparently you have an uh, agenda now to sort of paint care in this bad light. Again, if you want to talk about state question 755, I can clearly explain to you the legal first amendment is would it have made a difference to have people essentially trying to tamp down the ignorance in this case absolutely i, I think so that are ridiculously out of context and i'm not bringing up quotations i'm asking you why your organization care the council of american islamic relations is listed as the as chapter and we and we don't. We are not affiliated in any of the things that you're accusing. Uh, I'm sorry, but CARE is listed by the Muslim Brotherhood in their Palestine Committee as an organization of the Muslim Brotherhood. Muslim That's Brotherhood wants to spread true. Islam That's around the world. Not true. That's just absolutely not true. You're you're, you're not listed. Um, um, the FBI testified to this effect, uh, as a matter of fact. This is not listed true. as a this member of true. the Muslim Brotherhood's Palestine Committee. This is just not true. It's amazing that you're being able to like spread these lies over there. Uh, I'm just I'm just reading to you what the FBI Absolutely testified. All right, uh, so I'm lying. Yes, absolutely. The FBI agent Laura Burns did not testify to this in the Holy Land Foundation trial. 
And what does this have to do with state question 755? Well, nothing, but I'm, I'm allowed to, to ask you questions, aren't I? Uh, you asked me to come on for state question 755. I'm the executive director of the Oklahoma chapter of CARE. We would do work that's based in Oklahoma. All right. Well, continue doing that work based in Oklahoma. Munir Awad, Director of Care in Oklahoma. Thank you for being here on 77 WABC. Uh, that would be Munir Awad, Mawad, Awad hanging up, I guess. <laughs> uh, 1-800-848. That would uh, undermine a campaign that's based on hate, violence, and fear. So uh, that's obviously why no one from the, the, the political campaigns on that side came out uh, with those sentiments. Munir Awad, the Oklahoma Executive Director of the Council on American-Islamic Relations.